Hello everyone, and today I just wanted to do a quick video on filament storage and another system that I found which I will be employing with my own filament. Uh, I went onto Amazon and I found these GMV Plus vacuum storage bags. Uh, they are a six pack and these are the medium sized ones which are 20 inches by 28 inches. Uh, this specific pack comes with a pump which you use to suck the air out of the bag. Uh, you can use a hoover of course, but uh, for the sake of this, I wanted to show that you didn't necessarily need to have a hoover to do it. Now, the pump, small, yellow, just regular little pump, but like I say, comes with it, saves you having to get the wife's hoover or anything else. It also negates the chances of any dust from your household hoover getting in with your filament while you're trying to do it. Now, like I said, there's six in a pack. I've got one down here that I've already done a test on. They're quite a big bag, as you can see. Now, the first time I tried this, I've got four rolls of filament here. First time I tried this, what I did was, I thought, now let's see how many I can get in. So I laid them out on top of the bag like that and got four in which was great and I thought marvellous uh, I slid them in I sealed the bag up I opened the valve and I started to suck all the air out it was going beautifully but when you get down to the the last few um, strokes of the pump to get it really tight together what tends to happen is as the filaments are pulled together as the air comes out of the bag the spools start to lift up like that or they'll go like that and you'll end up with your filaments not sat flat and level uh, but also more of a chance of it actually damaging the bag breaking the seal and then making it useless so what i've done is i found an alternative way which i think is going to work a lot better um, i'm sure we'll see in the coming months just how good it is now the thing about this is is that if you want to put some desiccant bags or some description those little pouches in here with your filament that will of course make things even you know better uh, for keeping the, the moisture out but for the the sake of this um, I won't bother but what I've done is is rather than lay them in flat like that I'm actually going to stand the bag up and sit them in the bottom now the reason for that is of course is that when you put them in they sit flat directly on top of each other so when you do take the vacuum out they're not going to twist out of shape now as you can see I've got four in there at the moment but there's still plenty of room at the top still massive amounts of room you could probably get another three or four rolls of filament in there but the reason why I've stopped at this is that when you seal the bag up which you can do with this handy little plastic strip which you can't see handy little plastic strip that you slide across the top that helps you to seal the bag as you go and then you just run your fingers across you see they are actually detachable run your fingers across to make sure you've got a perfect seal it's a double seal there are two seals on there so that gives you more chance of getting it right first time unscrew the cap like so now as you can see the cap is now sat on top of the top reel of filament so if you had any more rolls of filament in the cap would be stood up and I think possibly more difficult to pump than laid flat like that now the other thing I do is I get some of the excess air out of the bag by squeezing it before you start that will save on the amount of time you use with the hand pump pumping air out so with that valve cover off you just squeeze out as much of the air as you feel like then screw the pump on and pump away and that is now sucking all the air out of the bag like I say if you put some desiccant um, sachets in there you, they'll be sitting in the middle now so they'll still have room to do their job but as you can see that's making a good tight vacuum around your bags like so then you just unscrew the pump, get the cover, 
put the cover back on screw that home and there you have it four rolls of filament vacuum packed standable on a shelf or a work surface or even in a bucket like I've done with my kitty litter but of course you don't need the kitty litter you don't need it to be anything like that they could sit on a shelf like that in fact if you do leave them on a shelf like that it means visually you can see if any of the air is beginning to weep out over a period of weeks or months so you can just stick the pump back on suck the air back out again keep it sorted keep it airtight keep it dry and then really really simple when you want to get in to get one out you just I say really simple my fingers won't work this morning you just grab hold of the seal open the seal up like that you'll see the bag expand again take out the roller filament that you want you can seal the bag back up pump back on suck those three down job done now like I say this was a pack of six that I got off Amazon UK next day delivery uh, and I think they're on sale at the moment I think they're six pounds 99 at the moment for six so that's not a great deal of money to put it mildly for storing your filament it's reusable it's simple it's straightforward it's clean it's dry it's everything you'd want from a filament storage system the only slight downside is yes you do have to open the bag of four to get one roll of filament out but for the amount of time it's actually in the atmosphere before you reseal the bag and re-vacuum pack it I don't see that as an issue I think overall this is a cheap affordable way of keeping your filament dry for your things like for instance this is my Matter Hackers Nylon X now we know full well that needs to be kept dry I've got some flexible filaments in here which also need the moisture keeping away for them if at all possible uh, and I think this is the, the perfect perfect um, solution to a, a, a problem which people have tried many different ways to do so yeah that's it like I say I shall leave a link in the description to the amazon.co.uk listing for these uh, they're on special offer at the moment I believe like I say they are £6.99 for the bag of six these are the medium sized one I wouldn't suggest going for the large bags uh, it may be worth looking if they do smaller sizes but they're a good thick plastic a good quality seal and I think for the money it's a good solution thanks very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe like somebody has done just there uh, hit the little bell at the side of the subscribe button so you know when I'm putting more content out I do frequent live streams which you will also get notifications of if you have that bell clicked where we do general chat we talk about the life the universe and everything not just 3d printing but we do touch on subjects and, and things that are in the media at the moment thanks very much for watching take care and i'll see you in the next video bye bye